It's February the 9th, 2023, and this is my 321st video since the fake pandemic, the Covid fraud and the designer war started and began us on our long journey into the new abnormal and the great reset. This is, I believe, the most important video you'll ever watch because it shows without any reasonable doubt that Joe Biden, the American president, accelerated the designer war between Russia and Ukraine, which has now become World War III with America, the EU and the UK supplying tanks to attack Russians and a German minister admitting that we are at war with Russia. Moreover, America, the EU and the UK are deliberately pushing us remorselessly towards the world's first and probably last nuclear war. Your life depends on knowing what I'm going to tell you and on doing something about it, sharing the video with everyone you know and demanding that your government resign. Everyone who has supported the war in Ukraine with money, flags, badges and so on has been helping to lead us into a nuclear war. Everything they've told you about Ukraine is a lie. The plot to start this war began in 2014 when America and the European Union, of which the UK was then a fully paid up member of course, helped overthrow a democratically elected government in Ukraine. Former President Obama admitted in 2015 that the US had been involved in replacing the democratically elected government and offering the incoming government, now headed by Zelensky, billions of dollars in aid. There are plenty of statues to and much support for Nazi collaborator Bandar. Look him up. The US wanted a puppet regime on Russia's doorstep as a launch pad for a planned NATO war with Russia. That was 2014. Obama, who was unbelievably awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, was of course responsible for much of the killing and destruction in Afghanistan. The current war in Ukraine started in 2014 but escalated in February 2022 and by then the Americans under Biden had already begun to get involved. In January 2021, a year before Russia was reported to have invaded Ukraine, the Americans had their eyes on the conflict and there was open talk of halting the Nord Stream pipelines. Biden, you'll remember, became the 46th US president in January 2021. Before Russia invaded Ukraine, Biden warned, quote, if Russia invades, then there will be no Nord Stream 2, we will bring an end to it. That's on record. The Nord Stream pilot pipelines were set up by Russia to transport cheap Russian gas to Germany and the rest of Europe. And the Biden administration wasn't happy about this. Biden and his advisers had several objections. First, they didn't want the Russians being able to sell their own gas too readily to Europe. Putin had never been part of the globalist conspiracy and was a very large problem. Second, America wanted to sell American gas to Europe by transporting LNG across the Atlantic. This would enable them to make as much money as they could before billions die. Third, Biden and company knew that if they could pretend that the Russians had blown up their own pipeline out of spite and in response to the sanctions brought against Russia, the Europeans in particular would blame their high fuel prices on Russia and support intervention in the war in Ukraine. Fourth, the designer war against Russia would lead to the destruction of Europe, which is, after all, much closer to Russia than America. London, Paris and Berlin are all easily reachable targets. This was all part of the plan to reduce the global population. And so, according to a report by renowned Pulitzer Prize winning 85-year-old Seymour Hersh, the greatest ever American investigative journalist and the man who broke the stories of the My Lai massacre in Vietnam and the events in Abu Ghraib in Iraq, Biden decided that he would blow up the pipeline and set up a task force with the CIA in early 2020 to plan this. Hirsch reports that in June 2022, on Biden's orders, divers placed C4 explosive charges on the pipelines. This was done in great secrecy and everything possible was done to keep it all very secret. The bombs were planted under cover of a military exercise in that month. The Norwegians who helped with the mission knew that they'd be able to sell their gas to Europe too. Then in September 2022, a boy, or buoy as the Americans call them, was dropped by plane and the charges were set off. 
the U.S. Undersecretary of State for Political Affairs, Victoria Hewland, hailed the destruction of the pipeline at a Senate hearing. Inevitably, the U.S. blamed Russia, claiming that they'd blown up a pipeline which had taken Russia 15 years to build and had cost $20 billion. The result of all this is that the prices for fuel in Europe and the rest of the world have skyrocketed. The price of food has inevitably soared too. There will be hundreds of millions of deaths in Asia and Africa where people can no longer afford fertilizers, food or fuel. Biden must go down into the history books as one of the most evil men in history and now we're heading rapidly towards a nuclear war. Under Sunak's alleged leadership, Britain, pretty well bankrupt and at the start of a major recession, is talking about supplying jet fighters to Ukraine on top of the billions of pounds worth of bombs and bullets already sent. And it seems certain that it will. America and Germany and the UK all denied that they'd send tanks, but they are. And the UK is already training Ukraine pilots to fly British jets. The future is now bleak indeed. We have been betrayed by everyone. In the UK, Charles the hypocrite and a staunch supporter of a smaller global population has always been a vocal supporter of Ukraine. The globalist conspirators know that the Covid jab has destroyed the immune systems of billions and will make those individuals who have been jabbed far more vulnerable to the radiation effects if nuclear bombs are dropped. As I warned in a video in May 2022, they want a nuclear war. The fake pandemic was always a distraction, a compliance program, and a way to weaken immune systems through the fake vaccines. The CIA and the White House have denied Seymour Hersh's story, but you know that what he's saying is true because the mainstream media, led no doubt by the CIA, is now describing him as a discredited journalist and self-publisher, the very same words they used to try and discredit me early in 2020. You'll know, by the way, that the beginning of nuclear war is very close when Charles leaves Buckingham Palace and suddenly decides to go to one of his country palaces, in Scotland perhaps, and when Sunak goes to Cornwall on holiday and when Macron disappears into the country and so on. Anyone in or within 30 miles of a decision-making major city such as London, Paris or Berlin would be well, well advised to leave when that happens. It's time for us all to prepare. You'll need food, medicines and cash. Our comfort is that we have God on our side. Please share this video. Our only chance of stopping what they've planned is for the world to know.